हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नो विनर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रेटिनिंग वॉल्स व्हाट इज अ रेटिनिंग वॉल देर इज समथिंग दैट रिटेन्स और होल्ड्स सॉइल और एनी अदर मटेरियल Retaining walls are vertical or near vertical structures, just as shown in this uh, particular picture. Why we need a retaining wall? Every soil got a natural slope, just like what is uh, shown in this uh, figure. This is the natural slope, and this is the angle of the natural slope, and the angle. is called angle of repose this natural slope can retain earth or soil naturally but retaining walls are used to retain soil when the slope goes beyond natural slope or being disturbed due to some other activities what are the different types of retaining walls Retaining walls are broadly classified into three or four types, but there are a lot of miscellaneous retaining walls, which are used extensively in our device for a lot of applications. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the major type of retaining walls. what are the major types of retaining wall there are three major types of retaining walls number first gravity retaining wall number second cantilever retaining wall number third counter forts retaining walls the first one is gravity retaining wall what is gravity retaining wall they are usually made of stone just as shown in this uh, particular picture bricks concrete or any other material that is local available they can be done with mortar or without mortar this is the typical section of gravity retaining wall it consist of a toe and a heel and also the stem the concept of gravity retaining wall is that the total self weight of the gravity wall that counters the backfill soil pressure that means the backfill soil pressure is countered with its own self weight and they are designed for all the parameter like sliding or turning and resisting the bearing capacity load acting on the structure the other type of retaining wall is semi gravity retaining wall what is semi gravity retaining wall semi gravity retaining wall is almost same as a gravity retaining wall but in the design criteria the combination of self weight of the retaining wall and weight of the soil above the footing is taken into consideration while designing the retaining wall because the total load of the silk weight of the retaining wall and the big fill soil and combination resist the retaining wall from failing they uses a small amount of reinforcement also in some cases the next the next one is crib retaining wall system what is crib retaining wall 
it is also a gravity retaining wall system and it is the oldest retaining wall system it consists of graves or cells made of timber just as shown in the particular picture and sometime they are made of precast concrete it is just like this uh, instead of timber precast will be used they are also made with fiber what is the concept of a crib retaining wall just go through this picture big filling is done with free drainage materials are sometime earth by doing this we can eliminate hydrostatic pressure allowing free flow of water this reduce the load on the particular wall and uh, sometimes plants are provided to give a natural look just uh, as uh, shown in this particular picture the timber cribs can retain earth up to 3 to 5 meters they are used normally in garden or landscaping and concrete and concrete cribs are designed up to a height of 10 meter to 12 meter the next type of uh, retaining wall is uh, bin retaining wall what is bin retaining wall just as shown in this particular picture bin are made with corrugated steel sheets and they are then bolted uh, together for getting a continuous retaining wall system then they are filled with a uh, crushed rock or free drainage materials thereby reducing the hydrostatic pressure next is gabion retaining wall what is a gabion retaining wall it is a very common type that is used in these hilly areas and they are uses galvanized or pvc coated hexagonal wire mesh and their fabric factory fabricated to boxes uh, box cages and the cages are filled with crushed local stone after filling the stones the boxes are sealed and erected at sight the cages increase the shear capacity of the rocks thereby they can take more loads and this is and this system allow a free flow of water thereby reducing substantial hydrostatic pressure and they don't need any heavy rigid foundation for the given log uh, there is no need uh, very heavy rigid foundation the next and major type of retaining wall is cantilever retaining wall they are basically made of reinforcement cement concrete this is a typical drawing consist of stem heel and toe and it is the most common type of retaining wall system because they are always economical for a uh, height of around uh, 8 to 10 meters and the concept of a continuous retaining wall is that the stem acts as a vertical continuous under lateral lateral load earth pressure or soil this is the stem and the heel slab acts as a horizontal continuous due to the load up back fill soil for it this is the back fill back filled and this is the particular area where back filling is done this is a horizontal cantilever and the stem 
is a vertical continuer. The backfilled soil embeds additional stability to this structure against lateral pressure. Because this soil is uh, coming over the base slab and this also the weight of the soil also become a part of the design. and making the structure stable. Continuous retaining wall can be free cast type or free stress type depending upon the design. The next uh, type of retaining wall is counter force retaining wall. Counter, what is counter force retaining wall? It is basically same as continuous retaining wall. But while designing in continuous retaining wall system, the height, if the height are more moments develop in the stem and heel will be very high and this increase the design thickness and make the design uneconomical for economizing the structure. Vertical bracing uh, like what is shown in this uh, particular figure, they are provided on the backfill side. These vertical bracing are called counter port. They are made with RCC basically. This counter fold retaining wall, they can be made with RCC and free stress concrete or they can be also made by precast concrete. And this particular vertical bracing will be covered under the, under the back fill and the front face will be always elegant. Thank you very much for watching the video.